This is a quick tutorial on how to set up your Excel number two assignment. This will be going off part two, which is the questions for chapter 11, particularly figuring out which type of t-test to conduct between the pooled and unequal, and then conducting the pooled or unequal t-test. So the first things first, I chose a different uh, question to answer than what you have, but you can definitely follow along. So this question is, at the 5% significance level, can we conclude that there is a difference in the mean selling price of homes that defaulted or did not default? So here our key column is default versus no default. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to sort this column. So I'm going to go here, I'm going to highlight column N, I'm going to click on data, and I'm just going to sort from A to Z. And make sure you click expand the selection so basically it'll, it makes sure to capture all of your data. Right, so now we have our data sorted. So first we have all the values with zero, and then we have the homes that defaulted with ones. Okay, so you can definitely tell that the number of homes that uh, defaulted were less than the homes that did not default. So part one, we've done, right? We've separated by type. I'm just gonna cross that out or just put it, turn it into red. The next thing I have to do is check the variances of the homes that defaulted or did not default in order to identify what we should have as our variable 1 versus variable 2 because this is important when we're conducting our f-test. So first I want to find the variance of the homes that defaulted. So variance, um, actually let's put it in this column here. So we'll do default variance. And here we'll do no default variance. Okay, so we'll type in equals var dot sample. So let's highlight the homes with uh, zero with uh, well, we'll do defaults, I guess. So here's the first home with the default. And when we press enter, that gives us this is the default value. Um, that's okay, we can ignore this. And I'm just gonna put some parentheses here so we can actually see the variation. All right, now let's look at the no default variance. And so now we're looking at the column with the zeros. Okay, and we press enter and here's our no default variance. Once again, we'll call a commas here. And we can see here clearly that the default variance is higher, so the defaults will be our variable one, okay? So that step is done. Next up, we're conducting an F-test. So now the F-test is gonna be based on the variances, and defaults are gonna be variable one, and no default is gonna be variable two. So let's go in and conduct our F-test. To get to the F-test, we click the data value um, from the top of our ribbon. And then we click on data analysis. In data analysis, we find the F test for two samples for variances and press OK. So variable one range, recall that variable one is default. So we're going to grab our home prices with defaults. And that would be all of these there and press OK. Variable two is no default. So let's highlight that range. Okay. And then we'll we did not lab, we did not take in the label, so we don't have to click the label button. Alpha is 0.05, that's our default. Um, and we'll select an output range to basically put our F test in that cell. And press OK. So here's our F test. So here we're told that the uh, critical F critical value is 1.59, and we're told that our F statistic in this case is going to be um, 1.15. Therefore, what we're finding here is that um, our F statistic, our test statistic, is greater than our critical value, and therefore we fail to reject the null of the F test, which is of uh, basically equal variances, and therefore we conduct a pooled T test because we found that the variances are not in fact different. Now for your work, make sure you work out all the six steps of the F-test process. Um, so now to conduct our pooled T-test, okay, we can still maintain variable one and variable two. 
uh, the way they're set up. So variable one will be our default and variable two will be no default. Okay, so our pooled t-test. So for the pooled t-test, once again, you will have to set up the null and alternate. Now you will write all of this into your um, Word document, but remember the null in this case would be that mean one of defaults is equal to mean two of no defaults. Okay, um, and of course h1 would be that they are unequal. Mean one, and I don't have the actual icon, we'll say not equal to mean two. Okay, make sure you write these out appropriately using the right symbols, etc. So now for the t-test, we go back to data, we click on data analysis, and now we scroll through this until we find t-test to sample assuming equal variances. Press OK. Variable one range, once again, we're highlighting our defaults. And there's our defaults. Variable two, highlight our no defaults. Okay, um, we didn't select labels, alpha is 0.05, and we want that output to be in this cell, and we're just going to press OK. And here is our data. So what do we find here? We find our t test statistic is negative uh, 0.38. Our critical value here is 1.98. Therefore, we find that we fail to reject the null finding, and again, you want to put more details into this and so on. Um, and you can he also here see the p values for the two tail test in that specific row here for the uh, f statistic. I, I'm sorry, the t statistic. Um, and therefore, we fail to reject the null, which means that there is no difference in the selling price of homes that defaulted versus homes that did not default. Okay, so hopefully this helps you set this up. Now again, all of this information, you will have these tables and you can copy and paste them into your Word document, but your six step process is required for uh, both the F test and the T test for the different components. Um, hopefully this helps clarify how we complete these problems using Excel. Good luck with your problem sets.